Well, hello there again. Hi, it's me again, Barb. I'm a little bit more awake. Some of that coffee is kicking in. And between meetings, I went to get the mail. And guess what I found? I found boxes. See? So, we're going to unpack them. First one I opened is from Ulta. And, uh, yeah, we got some stuff. So, the first thing is uh, I got two candles. This one is the Ibiza. I'm never going to call it Ibiza. Because I am not Queen Isabella with the lisp. It's been 500 plus years. Let it go. Let it go. It smells amazing. This one smells like chiffon, musk, and warm embers. It is just a little fruity, but definitely like sensual. Like that's just like tasty, enticing. Almost like a vanilla and like a creamy, almondy, like amaretto kind of undertone to it. I love this. I wasn't sure I was going to like Ibiza, but I do. Now, this one is Mykonos, Greece. These are their location candles. And this one's supposed to smell like golden sands and amber. Anyone who knows me, I love amber. Amber. I mean, like you could tell real amber jewelry because if you put the amber against your skin, it's supposed to warm up and smell like the amber in fragrances and colognes. Because guess what? The jewel that they use as amber is fossilized resin. So when you heat it up, it releases the scent. So that's how you can tell because if you touch like quote unquote amber and it doesn't start to smell like amber from being against your skin, that means it's plastic and it's fake. A little side note. But this one, <sighs> there's something in here I don't like. And it's not the amber. Like, the amber, you can barely pick it up. Maybe it'll change when I burn the candle, but it smells a little, like, powdery and, like, fake fruity. Like, not as amazing as Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah. But they were 10 bucks instead of 20 And I do love these jar candles because when you clean them out, they're nice little lidded jars. You can hold things like Q-tips and cotton balls and things like that. So, other than that... I got the Pacifica Glow Baby. Yes, there's two of them. Brightening peel pads, 10% AHA and BHA. 60 pads. They were on sale. Buy one, get one 40% off. So I got two. So that's 120 pads for 24 bucks. The cheapest you can usually get the First Day Beauty ones is 60 pads for $30. So this is a savings. So looking forward to those. And I, I have the little travel size one, and it's like almost empty. So... That's why I bought these. Then, this is, you know, 21 Days of Beauty here. They were doing the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer on sale. Now, I got two of them because I wear two different shades. In the Mattifying Liquid Foundation, I wear shade 300. But in the Mattifying Powder Foundation, I wear 290 been color matched it works and it's because in the powder for some reason it oxidizes a little bit darker so this one has an olive undertone this one has a golden undertone i'm somewhere between or an even mix so that's what these are and let's see what one of them looks like because let's just go there oh, they remind me of the bottle of the foundation which i think is gorgeous it's just simple and clean something about the style of these bottles reminds me of what selena gomez's makeup line is trying to be and that's fine. I'm not hating on either one of them. I just think that it was like a evocative kind of homage. So then they had these guys on sale. Okay, these are the Benefit Powder Blushes. Now, if we all remember the boxes, they used to have big, thick boxes. And they would have a like flat panel-y kind of like bamboo handled brush included. They don't include them on these. And these are supposed to be different color blushes that are supposed to work on all different skin tones, which I appreciate because usually the skin tones their blushes used to work on, if they weren't the bright pink one that was called Bella Bamba and the Coralista one, everything else basically only worked on the shade of Alabaster to Pale. So this one here, this one's called Butterfly and it's a golden burnt orange. I cannot wait to get this on my flesh. They have these little tabs. To keep them shut. Uh, let's peel them off. Excellent. So that's this one. Then there's Sunny. Uh, they were on sale. Now these things used to go for 30 bucks. So half price then would have been 15. And they're going for 31 now. And I, I have the older ones. I have Bella Bamba and Coralista upstairs. 
I'm not going to go look for them now because, again, I don't have enough time. This one is supposed to be a deeper peach, Sunny. Very lovely. You think I stopped there? No, I didn't stop there. I got Shelly, which is supposed to be like a... Hold on. These were all completely sealed, by the way. Before I started the camera, I started peeling into them. And then I realized, what am I doing? I should. This is content. I should be making content. And this one is more like a peachy pink. I don't know if they have shimmer. It's hard to tell. This one here, Starla. This is supposed to be a blush, a rose bronze. So it started to give me, online at least, um, remind me of my, one of my, what used to be one of my favorite blushes for years, which was, what the hell was the name of it? Naughty, Naughty Jennifer or something like that from, let's see, look at that. It's like a bronzy kind of blush. I used to wear a shade like this that was from, it was a loose, Bare Minerals. Uh, I still have one of them left upstairs. I'll show it to you. And then this one is Krista. Spelled in a bizarre way. Like, I know people named Krista. They do not spell their name like this. But, yeah, you do you. And this is the bright one. This one really reminds me of Bella Bamba. This one reminds me of Bella Bamba. And this one reminds me like it wants to be Coralista a little bit. So, yeah, I did get five. I, yeah, hate me. It's, I'm... Yeah, I'm bad. But because I got so many, I got a free tube of Bad Gal Mascara, an intense pitch black. I got a free makeup bag, which feels like jewelry and happiness. And then, because I'd spent over 50 bucks, I also got this mystery gift. So they sent me this makeup bag from Clinique. I don't know why it's Clinique X Donald. I don't want anything named Donald in my house. Except Donald Duck and my uncle, Donald. Rest his sainted soul. Any other Donalds can just leave. But this comes with a rinse-off foaming cleanser for combination oily to oily skin. It's kind of big. I mean, this is how many ounces? 2.5. Not bad. Then it comes with a moisture surge 100-hour auto-replenishing hydrator. Aloe vera bioferment technology. This puppy is one ounce. That's like a full size. Then it comes with this, which is the All About Eyes, which we all know is amazing. Not for individual sale. All of these they are marked that way. This is 0.17 or of an ounce or five milliliters. And then the last thing comes with is a lipstick, other than the bag, and a little guide to your goodies inside. And the lipstick is Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer, Primer, sorry, in the shade Mocha Pop. And the bag is supposed to be 100% recycled, post recycled, consumer recycled. This is actually a pretty color. It's a nice nude. So, five piece gift. I'm not complaining. I haven't bought Clinique in a long time enough to make a gift. So, kind of cute. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to store all my shit in here. By the way, I'm still waiting for my return label for um, to send back that velour and that Milani. So, like, I don't fucking know if it's ever going to come. And I'm a little pissed. But we'll work with it. i put all these guys in here. Because they fit. See? The only thing I'm not putting in there is the uh, Glow Babies and... The other makeup bags, that would be stupid. Also, I had an envelope that came from a separate 21 Day of Beauty. And it was the Beekman Milk Primer with the SPF 35. I have one of these upstairs that's half done. I got a backup because I do like it. And I do wear it when I remember. Now I just have this, which I'll toss in a box to break down. So the other thing I got, hey, hey, hey. again, I am a bad girl. Adept Cosmetics, because they literally, as far as an indie goes, they have my heart for a lot of things. And they send their shit super well packed. So they were having a code sale. They were, had some things they were getting rid of. And discontinuing, so they had them on sale. First one, they all come in these boxes like this. And you really don't know which one you grab until you open the box. I gotta admit, for packaging purposes, y'all just rock. Is look at this like it makes sense so the plain jane palette which i had wanted a while back 
It was on sale. I think it was $33. So now it's mine because I had a bundle coupon, which gave me like 15% off. Look at that palette. Yes, it's a lot of like weird, funky, like springy shades. But the cool thing is some of these are like duochromes or foily, and I can't wait to try these. Oh, and by the way, they also use recycled materials whenever they can, as far as their mirrors go. So this is eyeshadow and pressed pigment. And I know in the U.S. they have this like warning that pressed pigment should not be used near the eye. But guess what? In the EU, that does not exist. Although it's funny that things that are banned in the EU are not banned here. Because I remember there was a color of the loose star powder eyeshadow pigment stuff from Makeup Forever. This neon pink that had a chance of staining. And that's why it was banned in the U.S. I mean in the EU, but not banned in the U.S. And I had actually bought it at one time. Then I realized I am not going to wear this shade of neon pink enough to make it worth the $23 expenditure. And I returned it, which I should have kept it because I kept the other ones I bought at the same time. So that's the first one I bought because it was a bundle deal. So it's and it lets you use dun, 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 the, uh, the clearance items or their regular items for the bundle. So since I was trying to get the clearance items while they were there... I said, you know what, we're going to go with that, and I'm not going to buy one of the more expensive ones. So this feels smaller. This might be the face palette I got from them, which it is. So they have a series of face palettes, and there's like six of them. They all have different names. Stella, Valentina. I can't even remember the other ones. Oh, I got a piece of plastic stuck on me, so let's just add it to the pile. So this guy is Stella, and look at those colors. Like, these are like the most foiled blushes on the world, and in the world. And then a beautiful champagne highlighter, which you would think doesn't work on me. But over a blush, it totally fucking does. Because I always thought that didn't mean too light, but it actually does work. It also works as eyeshadow. So we're glad they again did their little special foam bed with a foam cover. Then they put this cover on top to make it sit and stay in the box. Then they box it. And then they put it in the double sleeve of the two layers of bubble wrap on each side. And then they wrap it with more bubble wrap. That's how they get it to you in one piece. So this should be the last of those, the bundles. So it was two eyeshadow palettes and one face palette. Because the face palette was not on clearance. But it was the cheapest thing afterwards. Because I could have done another eye palette. But I said, mm, I'll come back for that in a different day. So again, we've got our insert, excerpt, got our foamy. This is Amunet. Now I have Amunet Dark. There's two options, dark and light. Dark has like this beautiful deep like blue and light instead has this like creamy beige right here. So Seth is the difference, the shade Seth. Because in dark that I have upstairs, Seth is a navy blue. And here it's a beautiful pale neutral which is fabulous because it will work either way. Like Horus is nice, but it might be a little too dark to use as like a translucent, like transition shade, but Seth Light would be perfect for that. But you could also do a very nice like base matte eye with Horus, Seth Light, and Imhotep. I have not really done much with that upstairs with the other one. I used Thoth. And then I used a little Inhotep as the liner, and then I used some Anhur, and I didn't really touch Seth Dark yet. But Seth Dark, if you just want to do some, like, navy blue eyeliner, you could easily do it. Now I have both, and I don't have to worry, because they're not going to restock Plain Jane or Amunet Dark or Light. So if you are interested in any of these palettes, go to Adept Cosmetics. They, you can even, they, bundle 15 was the code I used and it gave me 15% off. Now, yes, they do charge you like a dollar for like safety insurance. And you can't opt not to do it. And you have to like check off that you've read and agreed to their shipping, you know, and uh, purchase requirements. And if you should cancel your order before it ships, they charge you like six bucks. So it is an indie brand with some weird funky rules. But if you just want the product, it totally works. And now I've got a shit ton of these little boxes like this. And do I care? Not really. So there's three. So that is what the mailman brought me so far. I think I am still waiting for 
something else from when I bought this. It was like a lash travel primer kit for like nine bucks. So, and it was one of the deals of the day, like online only if you were platinum or diamond. And I can't remember which one I am. I think I'm the highest one, whatever that is. It used to be platinum. Is it diamond now? I don't know. But yeah. So that's that. And uh, tell me what you waste your money on. And I, yeah, I know. Bright workout pants with a big black shirt. I was supposed to go walking before my meeting, but instead the mail came. So I'm going to go upstairs and put on jeans so I can make it to my evening meetings after my afternoon meeting because the evening meetings are in person. So I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching. If you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back. If you're a new viewer, hope you liked what you saw and hit buttons because buttons will bring you back to me when I actually upload shit again because I have a crazy upload schedule and we don't know if and when I'll have time to do things. You may get four videos in one day. You may not get anything for two weeks. I apologize. I have a real job that requires a lot of time, sometimes 12 to 14 hours. And uh, yeah, I don't always have uh, the capacity to keep to a specific upload date. So thank you for helping grow the channel. Thank you for your time and your attention. And uh, you know, leave me comments, interact, help the the algorithm keep my channel alive. Peace.